Um, so let's uh, take a couple of phone calls. Here's Wolf from Philadelphia. Yes, Wolfie. Hey, morning, Howard. How are you? Good morning. Hey, I was uh, curious to know, um, when J.D. was initially hired, who was the person that interviewed him, heard his verbal prowess, and decided this is the best candidate for the job? I could be wrong, but I believe the way J.D. was hired. J.D. was an intern here, and then J.D. was particularly good at getting these clips together, and he sort of formed his own job. He started to take it on on his own. Am I right, Gary? That's exactly right. Yeah, he was. Uh, he actually used his head and uh, was a self-starter. That was maybe the only time. Yep. <laughs> He has ever had take has taken some initiative, and I have to say he's terrific at it. He really is. He's, he's really good, good and in, and very proud of his job. Takes it very seriously. He's here like he starts like about three or two four o'clock or in the something? morning. I don't no, know. four yeah, is I'm late. No way earlier than that, Howard. Yeah. He's been getting in. I think now he gets in about ten o'clock at night. Whoa. Yeah. I, I definitely understand that that he's a very very hard worker. I just wondered if there was a, an initial stage that he had to get by as far as the interview process because I think that might have been kind of tough for him. Got Yesterday, he, he what, Gary? He got he got interviewed by Amory and hired as an intern. That's, That's a, amazing. But you know, the internship is pretty much you show up and you can form any kind of sentence. There have hired. been well, there have been people who actually get turned down as interns on our show, which is amazing. Me, I would love to do a show of people who've been turned down as interns. Yeah, but that's usually what they say. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, I know what this guy means, Wolfie. He, he, J.D. is the kind of kid, he can't imagine being in the room with Anne Marie, like going, you know, arr, 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 arr. you know, you get scared. You're like, oh, Frankenstein monster. <laughs> but Howard, uh, I, I, have, I have three standard interview questions. Is there any chance I could ask him to J.D.? What, yeah, that'd be great. What You know what would be great if we only had a tape of J.D.'s first interview with right. Anne Marie? We should almost, we should almost, on record, tape. Every intern. Every intern, so we have these for the future. Yeah, could you imagine if we had J.D.'s initial interview? So tell me, um, what is it um, you um, like doing? Uh, where did you grow up? <laughs> Where'd you go to school? <laughs> uh, I went to um, my college. I, 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 I was sale. Full sale. Full, full I, sale. I was a movie director. Major. Why do you hate uh, Jared? You're a movie director? Uh, oh, well, no, not exactly a, I don't know. Is it, maybe you a movie. Right? I don't know, I'm studying like film, video. I don't know. It's something like that. You know. <laughs> I, um, all right. Yeah, Wolfie wants to recreate you in the interview situation with Anne Marie. But do you remember? Do you have any recollection of that? Were you, did you dress up? Uh, I I think I I did dress nice. I know I did try out for. Um, I did have interviews at two other like actual film production things, and I I didn't. You get didn't those. get through those. <laughs> Hello, yeah, Mr. So Weinstein. You, <laughs> you, you didn't get those. Like they rejected you. Uh, I didn't get called back. They rejected you to work free at the place. Yeah. Well, yeah. I I guess I don't know. You didn't come off well. No, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I did. They must have had real interviews. Do you remember what Amory asked you? Um, no, uh, <laughs> no, did you, did, just, did, you, she, did you physically come down to the yeah. radio station? Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And you she sat could see there? you. Yes. What uh, did you wear, do you know? No, I, yeah, I, I dressed fairly nice. I don't remember exactly what I wore, but, um. Tie? <laughs> no, no tie. I think like a nice shirt. Like a good t-shirt? Yeah, like a, uh, um. <laughs> My lucky shirt. Uh, the One of those really nice t-shirts that have like a tuxedo jacket on it. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, what's a nice, what is nice? Uh, it was a collared shirt. I think I wear my, I'm with stupid shirt. <laughs> <laughs> And some pants. Yeah. And, uh, I, you know, she just started, told me about what it dealt with and, and, uh, I think she, she. <laughs> I could listen to you all day. <laughs> it somehow like came out like, you know, I was a fan of the show and whatnot, so. Yeah. I see. What yeah. did you just say? <laughs> <laughs> he was a fan of the show and whatnot. You're writing some down, Robin. So do you remember, so how long was the interview? Uh, I'd say maybe 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Someone just wrote a note. Every intern thought JD was a weirdo when he was, when he started. Really? Well, they were right. Why did someone they stop was, thinking that? Yeah. It's a miracle you got the, uh, internship and then you had the insight to like start getting these clips together and everything you and lasted. actually forming a job for yourself. You oh know? yeah, like the girl that was doing it ended up, you know, getting let go and I just 
asked uh, Amory if I could move to that position. And oh right, wasn't the so, girl do it? Didn't the girl do something <laughs> freaky? The, 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 I don't know. She tried well, to sell her boyfriend's beats to the beat. That's right. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, she tried. Beat. She tried to sell the beat. <laughs> yeah. She tried to sell the beat to Fifty Cent. <laughs> Fifty Cent was down here, and I guess rappers buy beats. Like that's how they they buy these music tracks. Because yeah, they're all such musical geniuses. So right? I said, "What did she do? She was in there trying to sell beats to Fifty Cent." Wait, and then she just gave, said that. I thought he was. Tr she was trying to sell beads to Fifty Cent. But, and then she gave Gary like some <laughs> attitude, right? She was like, you know, hey man, I'm trying to make a living. <laughs> Lucky JD had no beats to sell. <laughs> you know what? This is why I love Ronnie. So she's in there selling beats to Fifty Cent. So I walk in, I go, "Excuse me, come over here." And she gives me the hand. She goes, "Just a minute." Right. So Ronnie was standing outside the door. I go, "Ronnie, get her the fuck out of there." He goes, "Come here." She goes, uh, just a minute. He goes, now! <laughs> and he fucking dragged her right out. Like, Ronnie pulled her right out of there. Right. She you gives gotta, you just a minute. Cause she gave busy. me the hand. She goes, yeah. just a minute, because she yeah. was doing business. She's doing business. She's on beats. <laughs> you got to throw the cold water of life into their fucking faces. <laughs> you know, I got to tell you, one, one of the classic intern stories, by the way, um, going back some years, our old uh, assistant, Kathy Tobin, she interviewed an intern. And while she was interviewing him, he put his feet up on the desk and leaned back in the chair. Right. He put his feet up on the desk. What do you think? Wouldn't you love to know, how, did this, does this guy have anything going on? I mean, how is it possible? Because he's such an asshole. How could he ever get a job? I don't know. Maybe he's from yeah. a wealthy family and mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. What were you going to say, Well, No, just I remember when J.D. started and, like, every intern was totally weirded out by him. And then he'd also written some script about, like, an axe murder. No. And people thought it was, like, somewhat based on his life, and they were scared he might actually kill them. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yes. I, oh, no, I don't remember that, but... <laughs> what is it? Uh, we, uh, we, we were able to find J.D.'s uh, resume. For real. Uh, this is J.D.'s resume? Yeah. Oh, God. Jesus. Let's see. <laughs> I just like his description of his, uh, of his, le his prior employment. I highlighted it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, related movie experience. gallery. Oh, uh, here, JD, you know, J Jamie Harmeyer. Okay, oh, this is addressed, and he goes, related experience, writer and director of film shorts for Lake Gibson High School TV productions. Ooh, I wish we could get those. Lake Gibson. <laughs> Various positions on Silent Witness, a 16 millimeter student film. Uh. Directed a scene. Instructed actors and crew. Oh, I'd love to get a tape of that. Uh. Uh, okay, look, that wasn't much. Everyone on set. I, I should. You, you walk in, you find your key light, and say your line. All right, go. Key light. <laughs> Additional training. Quantel Edit Box, Avid Express. He seems to know a lot of shit. Okay, employment. Not anymore. June to May, June 1998 to May 2001. CSA Assistant Manager, Movie Gallery, Lakeland, Florida. I checked the movies in and out <laughs> that customers rented. Received product in the computer system. Exported product out of the system, helped during inventory, cleaned up store, made late calls, etc. Yeah, that's good. I see. Yeah, I, I I like that. Yeah, I had to. It was my job. Was it's, he uh, a manager? He said. Uh, like assistant manager. I see. So like, if I'm Anne Marie, I go, oh well, I see here you have related experience. Uh, tell me about that. <laughs> what would you say? What would you say? <laughs> related experience as to, to how the, the movie gallery where I, I dealt with people and I, you know. I can, I can talk. Wow. That's I, a I don't, Wow. You don't know? <laughs> I, 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 Are you going to giggle like this during the interview? I, I, I think I did giggle. How did you answer that, that interview? I, mean, I, I don't that, know. That answer was hard. It was a miracle. <laughs> I, what was Anne Marie smoking? Just show right, here. Up. I'll be Anne Marie. What would you like to get out of this internship? Uh, experience uh, in, you know, uh, uh, the entertainment industry. Cause that's <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That is, ex that is unbelievable. I like to import and export. You're uh, actually better at interviewing now, aren't make, you? Make phone calls. Yeah, import and export products. Who are you, Tony Montana? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened to you, man? <laughs> what did your parents do to you? Nothing. I know your mom ran off with that guy in Hawaii. Uh, nothing, no. It didn't come on to Wanalea. And your dad had a few problems. Though. Hey, whatever happened? Did you ever have that... Re that, that um, uh, with the, that that thing with your mom, what do you call that? that reunion. Reunion. Yeah. I've seen her. I saw her last Thanksgiving. How'd that go? <laughs> it went fine. Remember, I I couldn't uh, remember what her tattoo was on her ankle or, or something. Yeah, I hadn't seen her in years. Yeah. But you two haven't gotten together personally together. We said you saw her. No, we did. We did like a, you know a day during Thanksgiving. You had a day with her. Yeah. No, you, you. She was there with other family members. No, she. Well, my grandma, my yeah. aunt. We yeah, all we met said, up. What about meeting just you? Oh, I, no, I no. I get. 
I saw her. What the fuck do you want from me? Oh, Mom, what, what the fuck do I want from your mother? Does yeah. she want to be alone with you for a few hours? Uh, yes, she does. She's thinking of coming to New York. She's, <laughs> she's still thinking about it. No, she wants to. <laughs> was Hawaiian Bill there? No, he was still in Hawaii. Has he gotten here? Yet? He's gotten here. Oh, he's here? He is here. Yeah, uh, he, he was last, last August, he paddled through the Panama Canal. <laughs> <laughs> now he's coming up the intercoastal highway on the ocean. <laughs> Coast Guard is le leaning him in. You hate when we bring this up. Yes. <laughs> How come? Because I, I know it's very uncomfortable for them, and it just it doesn't well, make my life you, any easier. <laughs> but, I mean, in all seriousness, your mom hasn't seen you in years except for that one time. I mean... D With it makes the whole it, group. It makes them uncomfortable because there's some truth in it. No, it, it's not. It, it's it's not exactly that. Like I, you know, neither of us have. <laughs> uh, wow. What? What? Neither <laughs> of us have had like a lot of money to just you know fly out somewhere for a while and. Look, a guy said hi in Hawaii. She got there. Yeah, how'd she get the money together to go I, meet dude, him I off the know. internet? I don't know. I don't exactly. Know. I don't want to know. She got the money for that. She made it over there pretty yeah. darn uh. quick. As soon as the guy said he wanted her, she somehow <laughs> got over to Hawaii. Oh, I mean, Libby, once she moved over there, it was... She didn't just move there. She went and visited him at least once. But that was visiting. Once she... Uh, she and got that's, that's when I was seeing her. And then, you know, when she moved over there... She went right over and never came back to JD. Uh, no, that's not... She swam. <laughs> she moved us geographically far away. JD, right into the Pacific. See, I got a one-way yeah. ticket to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> now she's back in the states, and she still can't see you. Yeah, uh, it's, it's just whatever. I don't know. Are I don't know. How many times did she see the guy in Hawaii before she married him? I don't. I don't know. Maybe a few times. Oh. So that's. I, I know he came over here forth. once. So once or twice. She got the money together to go back and forth. Then didn't she? Uh, but for you, she can't have the money. No, anymore. that's. Did he pay for? Uh, I. Who knows? He might have. I don't know. I'm not. I don't. What? I don't get. I. I don't know. You know. No, I don't. <laughs> Shut up. Like, you know. I know. I don't. Somehow there were resources. <laughs> then. Uh, we'll see. Did, yes, sir. All right, so you interview J.D. Let's see how he does. Okay. This guy hey, again? Jamie, tell me about yourself. <laughs> He's already stuck. I, I, I don't... I, I, well, I'm like, uh, you know, I'm nice. I'm, uh, I, I think I have some sort of uh, intelligence, <laughs> overall intelligence. Uh <laughs> General intelligence. General intelligence. Robin, don't interrupt I'm his sorry. interview. Wolf is interviewing him for a job. Um, you know, I <laughs> I do have some sort of people skills. Whenever uh, <laughs> whenever I have to talk to people, um, that's that's fascinating. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? I I have no idea right now. Ho hopefully, uh, being a director, but we'll see. Howard, my third question was, uh, what are your weaknesses? But I think he already answered that with his first two. <laughs> well, let's see how he does. Oh, well, Wolfie, you've made another one. What are fun. your weaknesses? What are my weaknesses? Not, um, not weaknesses, weaknesses. I said weaknesses. Uh, the English language. <laughs> Speaking. <laughs> where's my, where's my weird? I'm, I'm shy. Uh, right. Um, I don't know. Weaknesses? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Are you answering honestly? Yes. Why does uh, it not sound like he's saying weaknesses? I say he, weaknesses. He's saying weaknesses. Weaknesses. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> weaknesses. 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 So, we <laughs> realize your whole job interview lasted like not even thirty seconds. Wolfie asked you three questions and you did terribly. The rather easy question. Well, Wolfie came up with another brilliant bit. There you go. Oh, take it easy. These are typical interview questions. Oh, I, I, I. If I if I had to do an interview, I will <laughs> prep myself and get myself you know ready for an interview. I'll but psych myself up. This is a, this is a, a bit on the air for a caller. You mean you could do better if you prepared for this? Maybe. All right, so start preparing. No, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> How do you prep for? Tell us about yourself. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, you you research yourself. Yeah, that's a softball, JD. I have a good sense of humor. 
That's a weakness? No, I don't know. No, it's I don't a, know. Maybe a, that's a, 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 I'm going back to question one. <laughs> you want back to question one? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hopscotching here. Really? I want, him, I want him to have a day to prepare and then come back and do no, this again. No, that's okay. I don't want to do this again. You this can't just fine. blurt out answers to former questions. Sorry. Jimmy <laughs> job interview. I'm spontaneous. Spontaneous? Yeah, I know. No, no, that's a weakness. That's a weakness. I'm sorry. When you go for a job interview and a guy says to you, what are your weaknesses, this is how you respond. Well, I have to say, sometimes I'm overly conscientious that I really put too many hours in on the job. I Once I get into something, I really tend to go overboard. So, if anything, I would need you to occasionally say to me, no, don't work so many hours. Like, that would turn on an employer, like, oh, my God, this guy's a real go-getter. Like, his weakness is that he works too hard. And then if he asks you for your strong suits, don't say you're a great bullshitter. No. <laughs> J.D.'s like this. Uh, my weaknesses are I, uh, well, I touch female employees inappropriately. Uh, I, I don't know. I smoke crack. <laughs> Maybe touch anyone in the front. I, I want to I hover wanna put, around the interns. I want to put my finger <laughs> in all the other girls. <laughs> I ride the subway and call black people the N-word. <laughs> <laughs> I obsess on an intern every every. Okay, uh, all right. I masturbate to images of Sarah Palin. <laughs> if what? Uh, if you like TV shows, I'll tape every one of those motherfuckers <laughs> for you. Tell me about yourself. Well, on the internet, I'm known as the badass. <laughs> I lost my virginity to kissy fur. And, no. and you know how, like, you know, Christy Brinkley's husband would masturbate on the internet. Well, I, I, I think I, you know, I, sometimes I do that. My All nickname right. is the badass. Uh, I may I, be I a love, sex addict, according to David Duchovny. I would love to ask Jared those exact same three questions. I bet you Jared would know how to answer those perfectly. Yeah, let's that. work him into another bit too, please. Oh my goodness, JD. Let's see, Jared, let's see how Jared answers the questions. He'll be on let's see how he does. You know, we have to start no, that enemy. cartoon, Jared and JD. It's right. No, we don't have to do anything involving me and Jared. <laughs> That'd be a good one for Howard TV. The Jared and, and JD show. Yeah. And then, like, it's a cartoon, and Jared always gets everything right, and, and JD, JD doesn't. <laughs> but they live together like the odd couple. That'd be great. JD, start writing that up. <laughs> JD, that's a funny cartoon. I'd watch Hilarious. that every week. Yeah, I'm sure you would. That was on every Saturday. Jared and Jay, the Jared and JD show. And you then like, to be... Fred could do the, the JD voice. Uh, why is he just top billing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be JD and Jared. And like the first episode Fred could be Jared and JD go up for the same job. <laughs> and Jared walks in and he's handsome and it's a female interviewer and she goes, and you know, she sees so stars tell in her me eyes. About yourself. And he's like, well, let me begin. With uh, the following. Uh, after graduating Harvard, I <laughs> went on, and, and then J.D. walks in and goes, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, acting. We're acting and directing. Can we, can, we, can we just jump right to my weaknesses? And then at the end, Jared gets the job. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that. <laughs> I like that cartoon. Okay, but, J.D., you're going to be the most popular character oh, between J.D. and Jared. Oh, of course. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather watch you. <laughs> You'll get the spinoff. Do you like that idea, Jared and J.D. cartoon? Not in particular, no. Uh, what do you like about it? That involves him. <laughs> Where is Jared? I can hear Kevin Lofton drawing right now. That's great. I can't believe Jared is hitching his wagon to my star. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Where is Jared? I just should not have Jared's that up not here yet. He's, getting, he's out getting Tim Sabian's breakfast he order. Yet, he's not in yet. Too bad Wolfie could interview him. I bet you his penis is hard for oh, sure fucking Wolfie, women last night. I'm sure Wolfie be, will be around by nine. So. Actually, I have to work today, J.D. Oh, okay. Wow. Darn. Wolfie, yeah, you, you, you have a business where you employ people? I, I don't employ anyone, but I, I, I am employed. Right. And so you've conducted interviews before? Actually, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. have. And how did J.D. do based on what you heard here today? Well, I mean, his answer to tell me about yourself when his response was he was nice, I think that was an excellent answer because most organizations are looking for a nice person. <laughs> uh, Not true, actually. Yeah. I, I, I think I think JD's lucky that uh, Mushmouth from Fat Albert's Junkyard Band wasn't an also a, a, a candidate for that job because I don't think he would have uh, won the interview. So you say he didn't do Hey-o. well. He didn't do well in the interview. I, I don't think he did all that well now. Well, I was interested in his evaluation. 
So you wouldn't have given him the job? Uh, he didn't really display confidence. I think that that's what the problem was. Yeah. Do you mean when he went, I don't know, I'm a director, I don't know. But most, we'll see. Most, most answers are concise. They, they, they drive home a certain point. And when you he, asked him what he was going to, where he saw himself in five years, his answer was, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Maybe a truck stop in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wolf. Well, that was very informative. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Another Jed. brilliant bit, Wolf. Hey, thanks, JD. I love you. Yeah, fuck off. Uh, <laughs> that should have been one of the questions. <laughs> you know, yeah. When you see yourself in five years, you could say jail for killing wolves. <laughs> and then when he was screaming, I took extra pleasure in putting the knife in the throat very slowly. <laughs> so your mom didn't go back to Hawaii after the reunion? She's now living in the United States uh, mainland? Yes. They are both on the mainland. But she works in a Hawaiian tropic. So why you, so you saw her a year ago, right? Yes. And you guys haven't seen each other in the year? Uh, no. Wow. Uh, but we're, but I, you told us you were gonna, you were planning to get together. Yes. Uh, we're, we're still in the planning stages. Listen, a lot of things <laughs> yes. have to come together. No. <laughs> like All what? the stars have to uh, be in like alignment. Like time and you, you hop know, on a plane on whatever. a weekend. Well, uh, a weekend. Uh, <laughs> What do you mean? You don't know? I, just, I I don't like to travel all that much. Well, she could travel. She well, seems I, to be she a real is looking world traveler. She, uh, she well, that's what, and uh, <laughs> she is looking to come up here, um, like in a couple, you know, maybe uh, a couple it, September. Of years? No, <laughs> next month, every, next month or November. You travel every weekend with Artie. What do you yeah, mean? No, well, I'm getting paid for that. <laughs> right, but do you, you where? Without, I, you don't want to say where she's living, right? No, I mean, besides, she's like traveling around anyway. Like she's in like a everywhere but where you are. Well, she travels around everywhere but where you are. Is that true? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do we have any gigs coming up close to her? Maybe you could. You could... Uh, I don't know. Not right now. But you have been close to her. I know it. Say when mm. your travels to art. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Closer than you are now. Oh, you know what? Maybe. Yeah. Well, because we're only there for a couple days. Oh. oh God. <laughs> All right. Go back and look for TV clips. <laughs> Thank you. You're terrific at it. <laughs> I try. I'm not the best, but I try. That's another thing that you, you are the say best. in an Okay, I'm the best. You're the only one in the world who does it, so yeah. you're the best. Well, you're the worst. I think half the shows on TV now are TV clips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the innovator, and I never get credit. Man. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're right. Exactly. You're, you're, you're putting yourself down. Yeah. <clears throat> you Can't started give that industry. boy a compliment.
các bạn mọi người và hôm nay bên em lại về một chiếc Hyundai Tucson sản xuất 2018 bản tiêu chuẩn 2.0 và Tucson là một trong những dòng mà của Hyundai rất là được ưa chuộng xe 5 chỗ và hôm nay em giới thiệu cho các bạn một chiếc xe một phiên bản màu đen đấy bản tiêu chuẩn và chiếc xe này thì giá nó cũng khá là ổn bởi vì là nó cũng bị đâm vào phần taxi rồi giá sẽ rẻ hơn hơn 100 triệu so với những Thank you. 